Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be sharing with you a dashboard that will allow you to compare between the different prop firms and their features. As traders, we all know that um, how important it is to choose the right prop firm to work with. The problem is, there are so many options out there. And it can be overwhelming trying to figure out which one is the best fit for your needs. That's where this dashboard comes in. Um, with this tool, you can easily compare all the prop firms side by side and see how they stack up against each other in terms of fees, their drawdowns, and maybe their contracts and their rules. Uh, you can look through it like all in just like one whole one dashboard instead of shifting to the endless websites and spreadsheets trying to gather all the information yourself. It's all here in this one place. Actually, this is my own personal dashboard. Um, as you know, I actually passed all my eval account last night and I'm actually in search of a new one. That's why I, I referred this to this dashboard. And in the end, I make things a bit nicer. I spruce things up, I color everything, format them in a nicer format. Otherwise, you see everything in just a plain text so that I can actually share it with you all. The only adjustments that I made uh, from my usual uh, dashboard is actually maybe adding the link to the site, which is set up with my affiliate thing. And how you, if you, I can give you a quick tour of what you can expect from this dashboard. If you see here, there's actually a list of all the prop firms. Um, these are the prop firms that I have been with in the past, and maybe some are those that I'm interested to explore in the future. And over here, you see that there is actually um, three filters. The first one is, let's say, company. Let's say I want to look at what um, offering that Apex have, I can clear this and I just select Apex Trader Funding. And you see that um, Apex uh, offer intraday trailing account and also a static, uh, static account where the intraday trailing there's all the size from 25k to 300k and the static is only from 100k. You see here that um, Apex is currently offer a discount where you can use my discount code over here. And the promotion is on until December 31st. This is the price after the discount. So you can look at it. And also the total discounted price, um, which is the summation of the price after discount and the one-time activation fee. Over here, there's also the reset fee, the daily loss limit, drawdown, profit target. And yeah. So there's also the money activation fee if it's offered or maybe one-time activation fee as well. Let's say if I don't want to just look at Apex because my trading style um, favors end of day account. So like let's say now I want to search for end of day. I can just clear this and I'll select end of day. Okay. Then you see that there is all these firms offering end of day account. And Let's say I'm interested in only the 50k account because uh, my previous accounts are all 50k, so I'm, there's no need for me to go for a different account size since I'm copy trading all of them. I can just clear this and I will select 50k. So these are all the firms offering a 50k end of day account. And you see that comparison some here have discount code and some are discount while others. Don't really have it. After comparison, I can see that Bullinox is the cheapest option for me. So that might be a um, place of interest for me here. Or let's say if I say, okay, I don't mind whether it's an end of day or a trading account, I can just select back all here. And these are all the accounts that are offering um, 50k account currently. Oops, I have to exercise here. This as well. Okay, now I have all the 50k. As you can see here, uh, the Bullinox account, this I am funded 75, is actually 
ending today. So before the um, before the trading day start today, I am going to purchase another fifty k account for myself. Right. If let's say you don't want to filter um go through all of this, I have also a section called special promos, which is uh based down like what special promotion that I received from the respective uh fund from companies. Like let's say for tech profit, um they are offering a fifty percent lifetime discount on any account and then they can get a second account for free once you are funded. And this uh promo does not have a deadline yet. Once there's a deadline I will put it into the dashboard. Open loss, this is the seventy five percent discount on both option one and option two account. And it's valid from November 24th until the November 30th. So after today, this promotion is ending. For Apex, this is the 71% account, uh, which is going to uh, end at December 31st. If you are interested, you can use my coupon code. And over here, if I go back to the dashboard, I can click on the link and click it over here, and it will bring me to the site. Where I can purchase the account. Yep. So like this is the example for Blue Box as well, uh, which I'm actually gonna purchase after this. I can just click join now, and I'll enter the coupon code after I made the selection. Okay. And if you look at here, here is actually uh, where I summarize like all the rules for the different prop firms. Um, a lot of these rules, I get it from their website, and some are from past experience and questions I ask the prop firms directly. Uh, if you can see here, like for the consistency rule, Bullinox have actually have a 40% consistency rule. This is not in their website at all. It's, uh, I only, I'm only aware of this after I received their contracts to be funded. And you can see here, like for Apex, they are offering you 20 Steam funded accounts, and Bullinox, they are offering you 11 Steam funded accounts. But they also have a special rule where you can only fund three Steam accounts um, at the same time, and only after you get the uh, the account above the buffer above the buffer zone, then they will allow you to fund another three eval accounts. So like let's say you have six accounts that pass the evaluation, they only allow you to fund three at the first time until you get the three above the initial buffer point. So a lot of them like right there, they offer you only one account, they don't give you to have more accounts. And like let's say tick tick, uh initially they say you can have unlimited funded account, but they do have a special restriction. Where each funded account they can only trade one instrument. Let's say you have one funded ticket account that you trade NQ. So the next funded account you cannot do any copy trading, meaning you cannot trade NQ, but you can trade ES instead. This is actually restricting it to maybe one or two accounts. And let's say for tech profit, like that, um, for the payout structure, they is actually they said there's no restriction um, above buffer. What they did mention is that you can actually withdraw uh withdraw from your account if you have profit but it's below the buffer zone. However, that's a, the rule is that you need to close your account if it's below the buffer zone. This is something that they did mention at all in the website. But in terms of tech prof in terms of withdrawal, tech profit is very lenient where once you're above the buffer zone, you can withdraw the profit anytime you want. And then like payout split here, if you are in the simulated account, um they'll pay you 80%. But if you are withdrawing it below the buffer zone, they'll take 50% of it. If you go into their live funded account, then you get 90% of the account. And they also have like let's say a special rule where you can reset your funded steam account up to three times and here are the prices like for 25k you can pay 440 uh, $449 to reset it okay 649 whether it is um value for money or not it's all up to you 
a lot of times for the prop firms account, there is no right or wrong. It's just the best firm for your own needs. For a lot of the traders, they like to trade in a stopping style. So for that case, like maybe um, Apex with their intraday trailing might not be as a uh, impact to you because Apex tends to be the cheapest uh, prop firm. But for me, because I am an intraday uh, holder account, so I will prefer an end of day trading account. That's why I often uh, opted for Bullinox instead. And over here, yeah, you can see that if there's any consistency rule, the payout structure, each of the prop firms, they pay out on different days. Some maybe once a month, some they have restriction, like you need to pass out any minimum trading days and thereafter. The payout split, Apex, they offer 25k, 100% to use straight away. But let's say for Elite, it's 12.5k. Um, they give you 100% to you, but it's per trader, it's not per account. Like for Apex, they do have a flipping rule. Uh, where you can actually cannot trade micros. Like let's say you, if you want just to pass the trading days, the minute five days minimum trading days, you cannot trade one. Uh, one ES micro micro contract just to say that oh I have traded this I have uh traded on this trading day, so they do have a bit of a restriction there. Like Elite, um, you can copy trade the same funder and the eval, but not when you're in live funder. Then there's a twenty twenty rule for which is for trade day only, where if the funder trader incur incur losses up to twenty percent. Oh, sorry, down to 20% of the trailing maximum drawdown. Then all open position will be liquidated. And in the next day, you'll be reduced to 20% of the maximum position limit for the account. This 50 execution rule is for tech profit trader, where the max you have is just for uh, 50 buy and sell orders per trading day. For an intraday holder like me, uh, it might not pose to be a problem. But if you're a scalper when you go in and out, this then this might be an issue where you actually meet the limit um, for the execution rule and you can then you can cancel off your account. So there's a lot of such hidden rules that where you can actually search for here and try to understand what each prop firms are offering. Okay. Right. So like I said. Do look into this dashboard. Um, it will be best if you purchase through my link if possible. They will give me a bit of a commission at uh, no risk to you. And I do frequently update the discount code and the promotion as soon as I got them. Overall, I hope that this dashboard will save you time and make it easier for you to find the perfect uh, prop firm. For your trading needs as always please let me know in the comments uh, in the youtube below if you have any questions or suggestions for future updates or if i get um, the items here wrong you can do let me know as well in the comment section because sometimes i might not be aware of it if i'm not uh, keeping attention like let's say for trade there here this and trade there like if you are not aware, trade there actually said that they will have a one-time activation fee, which is effective from 1st of December. Whereas before this, um, they do not have any activation fee at all. That's why like without the activation fee, trade there is actually quite cheap uh, for the first month. But once the introduction of the one-time activation fee, the first uh first one payout payment uh to save for the price of the discount and the one time future is quite high. Yep, like I said, do explore this and let me know if you have any issue with it. Thank you very much.